Hello everyone and welcome to this course on multithreading and parallel programming in .NET. My name is Munesh and before proceeding with this course, I would like to tell you little about myself and then we will see the content which we are going to learn in this course. I have 9 plus year of experience in .NET programming. I worked in many MNC in the .NET technologies and I am very passionate about learning new technology and I like to write articles on the .NET. And as per this course, what we are going to see is basically we are going to learn on the multi-threading. We will see the asynchronous programming and apart from that we will see like what is the parallel programming and we will see like how we implement parallel programming in C sharp. These course is covered from the basic to the advanced level. So like we will start from basic and we'll see how we write a program from the basic to the advanced level. So the topic which we are going to cover first is about the multi-threading and then we will see like how the we create the threads in the C-sharp and based on that we will write our programming and then we will see the asynchronous programming in C-sharp. We will see like how we create a task in the asynchronous programming and after that we will cover the parallel programming. In the parallel programming we will see about the parallel for and for each in the C sharp and apart from that we will see the parallel invoke in C sharp and as well as the parallel link in C sharp. So basically we will cover everything which comes under the multi-threading or like, like to write a program in the parallel way. So like basically what you need before proceeding with this course. So first of all you should have a basic knowledge on the C sharp. So basically like how we write the program in the C sharp and such kind of the things which is related to the C sharp. And then you should have to install the Visual Studio 2013 or the higher version. So we will understand it better and you should have the willing to learn new things like if we are going to learn any new or the advanced level things then you should have that willingness to learn those things and after the course what you will get so you will get the source code like as per the topic wise wherever we are writing any program so you will get those source code related to this one you will get the confidence on the multi-threading asynchronous and the pro uh, parallel programming once you will uh, go through all the courses which we will cover in this course. So are you ready for understanding about the multi-threading or the asynchronous or the parallel programming? So let's go through the courses as topic wise like we will cover from the basic to the advanced level. So we'll see you in the next course. Thank you.